Hey, welcome to BearAmerica.tv. I am Paul Leone with... John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton. And um, one thing we've been doing is we've been putting these blogs out, and I was thinking, and I said it to you the other day on the phone, we haven't really done any summer beers. Yeah, I'm not sure how we missed that. Uh, yeah, I know. And here we are in the dog days of summer, and... Uh... And you know what happened? I think we did so many pumpkin beers, we said we're not doing themes anymore. <laughs> so, so here we are doing a summer beers, and I have found one of my new favorite summer beers. And we had talked about it earlier. Uh, we brought it to uh, David Big had brought it. I'm sorry, David Little had brought it to the table. <laughs> uh, Bell's from Bell's Brewery, Oberon. Good stuff. It's very good stuff. I have become a huge fan of Bell's now that they're here in Georgia. We actually have it on draft as we speak here at Moon River. It's great. And it sells good? It sells very well. Well, it was selling really well until we got our whip beer on tap. Uh, okay. And then uh, kind of, you know. But it's still an excellent beer. And, and I don't know about you, and we're going to get right into this beer in a second. I, in the past, would always go to much lighter beers or found it hard to drink good craft beer in the summertime because it's too hot, especially in Savannah. It's 90 degrees. Last thing I want is a scotch ale. Not going to do it. Just <laughs> wear you yeah. out. Uh, but Oberon is a great, and Sam Adams brews a nice one. There's a lot of good ones. Brooklyn brews a nice uh, summer ale, but the Bell's, yeah, and, and is that why? And that's what I'm gonna ask you. This is an American wheat ale, and it's 5.8% uh, uh, alcohol by volume. Really? And uh, it's a summer seasonal, yes. And uh, do wheat beers tend to be lighter, I guess? Is that why it goes so well in the summertime? I, I think by and large, uh, we tend to think of uh, wheat beers as being on the lighter end. Now, I think most of the Bavarian uh, Heavy bisons tend to be in the mid fives uh, in that range, which is actually a little higher than you might expect from a fairly <laughs> from a fairly uh, light beer, mm -hmm. um, at least light on the palate. I think the thing that, that uh, people most associate with it being light is the fact that it's generally not bitter. Um, it's generally a beer that has, uh, if it has any hop aroma, uh, it would be fair on the light side, but it certainly doesn't have a whole lot of bitterness to it. Um, so, one of the things that makes the American uh, wheat style distinctive from uh, any of the other styles mm -hmm. uh, is the fact that it tends to be uh, fairly neutral in terms of its yeast character. Um, neutral, kind of neutral to bready to kind of that uh, just kind of clean uh, character. You don't get a lot of that fruit character, you don't get the banana character that you get from the, from the German Hefeweizen yeast. You certainly don't get that phenol that you would get, mm -hmm. that sort of spicy character um, that you would get from a very Hefeweizen. So. I think what I tend to taste in a lot of these, and I know this one has it too, is a little fruitiness, a little spiciness, but fruitiness definitely. Uh, and, and it says that, it's a spicy and fruity, and, and I smell the fruit right off the bat. You yeah, if anything, I'm, I'm getting sort of a, a hoppy fruit mm -hmm. character, not, not so much yeast. But I do taste the spiciness a little bit, just a little. No, not so much for you? If, if it's there, it's definitely a, a hop character. I mean, one of the things that people often talk about when they drink wheat beers is they talk about sort of a weedy flavor. Mm -hmm. And I, I've always kind of disagreed with that that, uh, that idea. It's not really a weedy flavor. It's usually an absence of malt flavor, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, because you're, m most wheat beer recipes are cut um, usually about 50-50. Mm -hmm. um, some kind of gravitate one way or the other, but usually about 50% uh, barley, 50% malted wheat. Um, and I think the distinctive flavor you're getting there is the fact that it's not so malty. It's right. not so, um, uh, it doesn't have that grainy character that, that you get from a 100% malt beer or barley malt beer. Uh, the, the wheat tends to be uh, a little bit uh, less grainy. Yeah. And, and when they made a point doing a little research on this that they say that it uh, has, they use Saz, is it Saz hops? Sots, yeah. Saz, Czech yeah. Sots. And, okay. And, and it, would that have any play in this? I mean, is it a specific hops that's good for. Uh, brewing a lighter beer or a particular taste? Yeah, I think, I mean, Sots is definitely known as one of those hops that has uh, a certain elegance to it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's sort of the classic Pilsner hop. Um, uh, used in large quantities, uh, it could certainly have some bitterness, uh, but it's definitely, uh, in terms of the inherent bitterness of, of Sots, it is on the lower uh, end of the range mm -hmm. of, of bitterness. Um, we call it a low alpha hop, but certainly a highly valued hop for its aroma characteristic. Um, at, I, but I'm surprised it's, it, it, maybe there's other hops in there as well, but I'm surprised that if this is just Sots, it mm -hmm. seems to me that there's some, some, some more fruit character there than, than would be present just with Sots. It's generally not uh, noted as being particularly fruity uh, in terms of its hop character. More, more elegant, sort of little spice, little, you know, we call it the noble hop characteristic mm -hmm. that uh, sort of more herbal um, 
kind of spicy here. And one thing I noticed too, you know, there is cloudiness. It's, it's a bit cloudy. It's not clear. Nice and cloudy. Yeah, they're going for that um, Happy Bites in characteristic. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's kind of got their own tricks up their sleeves in mm -hmm. terms of um, how to keep that haze. Um, the Belgians actually use, <laughs> uh, for Whitbeer, mm -hmm. they use unmalted wheat. Mm -hmm. So it's just straight wheat. Um, and you can, you essentially are forcing a haze and use unmalted wheat because it does not break down in the mash tun. So you end up with a starch haze. Okay. Now, uh, how they're doing this, I'm not really sure. I'm assuming it's just yeast. A lot of times when you get kegs uh, that are uh, heavy bites, and they, they tell you to store them upside down until you're ready to tap them, and then you turn them right side up and tap them, and that causes the yeast to kind of. Oh, okay. Sort of, it's it's just a kind of a way to force you to stir it up. it up. Yeah. Uh, but even even heavy bites, and you leave it long enough, it'll mm -hmm. it'll settle out and go. I mean, I we used to make a heavy bites in here, and you know, oddly enough, after a couple of weeks, it was like the clearest beer <laughs> we would ever put on tap. Yeah. Completely unfiltered. Yeah. So. Well, I tell you what, this is. Um, I, I, I like to say, you know, I wouldn't call this a training wheel beer, but I would call this a great summer beer on a hot day. It would Absolutely. go down nice and easy. It certainly wouldn't uh, wear you out. Uh, easily, like, easily. Like, like most beers would. But I, I, this is definitely one of my new favorite summer beers. I've been, right. I've been I drank it last night, I drank it the night before, now I'm having it tonight with you. That's maybe maybe after we have this uh, this bottled sample, we'll have to go and have one on draft. Here. I, I'll have to It'll try be one interesting on to see how the, yeah. the difference is. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know or are new to this, we're at the Moon River Brewing Company in Savannah, which uh, John owns and, and is the uh, a brewer. So come here. And, uh, yeah, why got, not? Yeah, why not? Exactly. Just because you live in Alaska doesn't mean you can't come and visit us. I mean, come on. There's Patrick, a lot of people here. It's Hawaiian. I know you're out there. I know you're watching these. <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers. Uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. And uh, any questions, comments, and uh, please send them forward. And Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff. Uh, become friends. iTunes. Yeah, iTunes. Dance cheers. Tight. Cheers. I gotta finish it. <laughs>